Hello friends, today we're going to look into this EVE outdoor cam. Welcome to this new video. So I'm really excited about this new white edition of the EVE outdoor cam. So before we start, EVE sent me this camera to test and review it for you. But of course, as always, I give you my honest opinion at the end of this video. So we will do a little unboxing. Then I will show my modification for the installation. And then we do an overview of the application itself. And of course, in the end, my conclusion. If you'd like to skip directly to one of those chapters, click in the line below. So let's dive into this. So as always, all the EVE products are in a nice packaging with all the information. You can see this camera it has the design award of 2022. It's a red dot winner as well. You can see the application here. So this outdoor camera comes with a flute light. It has a 157 degree angle of view. And it has all the options like motion detection, person detection, even package detection. So the ideal camera for your installation outside. It has to be hardwired, of course. So you have to have a power source. So the best and easiest installation for this camera is to replace your existing flute light where you can just put the camera on top of the existing power source attention american users you won't have the same design as european power outlets on the outside so you have a bigger hole so you have to do a little modification yourself as well i heard that you can buy some adapters on amazon as well so here you can see some specs so it replaces an existing outdoor light with a 100 to 240 volts. The resolution is in 1080. Of course, that is because it is exclusively for HomeKit secure video that only supports up to 1080. You can change the right position and you have a two-way communication. So let's see what's in the box. So we have some stickers if you want to warn your visitors that you're filming. We have the manual with installation steps. Here's the socket. And here's the camera itself. So as I said, it's a flute light that you can control with your home kit and automations of course. Here's the camera and the little LED light and you can change the angle of the camera. So it is quite heavy, you feel that it is a good quality. And then we have the tools needed, so some screws, an allen key. Some more goes and you have this little adapter in order to fix the light to the mount now as I said this is supposed to be mounted directly onto a power source I already have used my power sources so I don't really have a uh, free access so I have to be a little bit creative and that's what this video is all about so what I'm going to do is I'm going to run the cable from an existing power source to this little waterproof box. This way I can run the cable inside, can get a cable outside and I'll fix this mount on top. So it isn't the most pretty solution, but it is the most safe. The cables will be nice waterproof in this box and I can install the camera wherever I want. So for that, We have to dismount the top of this box. You can say it is 
the upside. And what I will do, I will drill two holes here and here that go all the way through the box to fix it on the wall because the camera is quite heavy so it has to be solidly attached. And for that I'm going to use these big screws. And here I'm going to draw a bigger hole in order to pop the cable out. So I'll just align the mount on top of the box where it is pretty much in the middle. And then I will make my markings for the screws. And I will make my markings for the power source. So I will drill the holes, so you can see this is just long enough to drill here and here. And for this one I'm going to take a bigger drill of course. And there you go, I have my big hole for the power and I have my two holes for the mount. So it should look like this. When working outside make sure that you use the right cable. So this thick cable is resistant to UV light. And of course for the installation of this camera you need a ground wire, a neutral wire and your power to wire. In order to fix the cable on the wall I have these little clamps. So let's prepare this cable as well. So what I will do, I will retrieve the power from that, po that box over there. I run the cable over here and install the camera on this spot. Why this spot? Because when you turn around you have a little bit the view that I want. So a little tip that I can give you in order to choose the right position. When you have a phone where you can zoom out like this on 05, you have exactly the view that the camera gives as well. So with the camera installed here, I can see my entrance over there and I can also see the entrance of the garden. So great view and I think it's the best position here. For the installation I will drill the holes right now and then I can install the box and at the end wire the camera. So to wire the camera it is quite easy. Uh, I will share the installation video of EVE Home. Disconnect power. In your fuse box, switch off the fuse connected to your existing outdoor light. Switch the associated light switch on and off to make sure that there is no current flowing. Install the mounting plate. Disassemble and remove your existing outdoor light. Please note, EVE Outdoor Cam requires both a neutral wire and a connection to a ground wire. If these are not present, EVE Outdoor Cam is not compatible at this location. Position the mounting plate and remove one of the plastic clips to create an opening for passing the power cable through. Ensure the up arrow is pointing upwards and trace the screw holes. Remove the mounting plate, drill into your tracings and insert the supplied wall anchors. You may also use the wall anchors for your existing outdoor light if they're spaced as required. In this case, please ensure that the up arrow is pointed upwards or horizontally to the left or right. Place the mounting bracket on top of the mounting plate and secure them using the supplied screws. So I connected my wire over there in the power outlet and with the little guiding clips a power cable comes over here in this waterproof box and with the EVE home outdoor camera mount on top of it and the bracket. So now we can install the camera as if it were that we have a power outlet just over here. Mount EVE outdoor cam. Place the mounting cover on top of the mounting bracket with the cable inlet at the top. Place the mounting ring with the moisture outlet facing downwards and secure it by twisting it to the left. Place the mounting clip along with the metal bracket in the recessed area of the mounting cover and snap in the mounting clip.
turn the supplied mounting screw clockwise to attach EVE Outdoor Cam. Please ensure you keep holding EVE Outdoor Cam until the screw is sufficiently fastened. You don't need to fasten the screw all the way, and you don't need to use the supplied Allen key just yet. Simply use your fingers. Connect EVE Outdoor Cam. Pass the cable through the cable inlet. Turn EVE Outdoor Cam upside down and open the mounting ring again by twisting it to the right and pulling it towards you for easy access to the cabling. Pass the cable of EVE Outdoor Cam through the wall mount so that the ingress seal sits flush with the mounting cover. Secure the ingress seal with the ingress seal bracket. Connect the corresponding wires from your power cable to EVE Outdoor Cam using the supplied connection terminals. Turn EVE Outdoor Cam back to the original position and stow the terminals and cables in the wall mount. Secure the mounting ring again by pushing it towards the wall and twisting it to the left. Please ensure the moisture outlet continues to face downwards. Set up EVE Outdoor Cam. Align EVE Outdoor Cam and fully secure it by using the supplied Allen screw. Now it's installed, you can put the power back on the power outlet and then the, the little blue LED light on the camera will flash and now we can connect the camera to HomeKit in order to find the correct orientation and fix it completely. Switch the fuse in your fuse box back on. The status LED should now turn on. Download the EVE app from the App Store. Open the EVE app and tap Add Accessories. To add EVE Outdoor Cam, use the HomeKit code on the back of the manual. EVE will now guide you through the setup process. Select the room where EVE Outdoor Cam is located and choose a name. Adjust the streaming and recording settings for when you're home and away. The settings for the built-in automatic motion light can later be adjusted in the accessory settings in the EVE app. You've now successfully installed EVE Outdoor Cam. So now the camera is added to HomeKit, I can find the correct position and fix it in place completely. So fix this screw in order to fix this orientation and fix those screws for the vertical orientation. So I've been using this EVE Outdoor Cam for a couple of weeks now and it is really nice to have. I had a couple of issues by setting it up and the first time. HomeKit didn't find the camera straight away, but then I figured out that I had to be on the same Wi-Fi network. So I separated my 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi and my 5 GHz Wi-Fi by renaming the 5 GHz. This way I was sure to be on the same Wi-Fi network and then I could connect it just fine. So I installed it over here to have a great field of view of all the garden. This way I can see from the door all the pathway up to my back door on this position though it doesn't recognize his faces from people that are standing in front of the door but as soon as they approach to the camera it will detect the face as well my purpose was more to see the whole garden more than uh, to look specifically at the door if you really need the face detection or package detection, then you should install it just next to your door. Image quality is really nice. 1080 is just enough to have clear images. I never had any false alerts. So it's really reliable. Night view is great as well. The flute light is really bright. I wanted to set up an automation where the flute light will be activated but only when I'm not an, at home and when there's people detected but it isn't possible so I asked Eve home uh, how the motion sensor works exactly and the motion sensor is a, a peer detection so as a classical motion detection so it will detect all motions and not specifically humans because this detection is done by HomeKit and not by the camera itself. So as long as Apple doesn't make this option available in HomeKit, it won't be possible to create automations where it only human detections will activate certain scenes or scenarios. So one of the great things about Eve is that they really respect your privacy. So when you're looking at the live stream, the video stream is directly streamed from your Apple Hub, so your HomePod Mini or your Apple TV. 
to your iPhone and nothing goes to the cloud. When you look at the recordings, everything will be synced between the camera and your iCloud home secure video. So in order to use this camera, you need a iCloud storage plan. The cheapest is only a few euros and with that one you can have one camera set up. For more cameras it is a little bit more expensive but still the price are really acceptable and are the same prices as you see for comparable products. And when we dive into the HomeKit settings of the camera we can set the flute light as a separate device. So when we go to the room there you see it has an own tile which you can set up as any other device. So I can choose an icon, give it a name and so on. So for the status and notifications, you can choose if you want to have activity notifications, status notifications and so on. And the record options are all the default HomeKit secure video options. So you can choose if it has to record if you're at home. You can choose if it has to record and stream when you're not at home. And of course you can set who can watch the recordings into your household. So of course I didn't activate packages detection as it is in my back garden. So for the facial recognition, it uses your iCloud photo gallery. And you can also set activity zones. Now let's dive into the Eve app where you have a lot more functions to set. So you can set the brightness of the flute light. You can activate or deactivate the flute light, of course. You can see when the last motion was detected. You can set the names, define in which room it is. You can set also the duration of the flute light whenever it's activated. So here it is set to be activated at night when it sees motions and I'll set it to disabled as I don't want it to be activated every time. So you can also choose if you want to activate the little LED light, night vision, audio recording, and here you can see some details of the camera itself. Now you go to type and names, we can change the name of the flute light. So let me put flute light in there. This way I can activate it by asking Siri to activate flute light. And let's do the same thing for the motion sensor. Let's give it the name of the Eve cam itself. Now when we go to the live feed of the camera, we can hear the audio, speak of course, and we can set the volumes. So as a conclusion of this video, the pros, it is a really nice camera, nice build quality, the images are great in daytime and at nighttime, it is reliable. The detections are always top on, so it detects people when it shoots, it recognizes faces when it shoots. I didn't have any false alerts until now and the installation is quite feasible. But that brings me to the cons. It's a pity that I don't provide an additional socket with a side entry for the power like those different mounts that you get with video doorbells for instance. And the second thing that I regret personally, it works with 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi only as almost all cameras due to the band wide I guess. But as it is hardwired anyway, it would have been really nice if at least it could act as a thread border router and a larger thread coverage widely this way. This said, I love this device in my home kit setup. Hands up to Eve Home, which did a great job, I think. You can get it at 249 as we speak, and it's worth every penny, I think. So let me know in the comments what you think about it and my modificated mount. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the very next video. Bye bye.